Hello ladies, this is Tammy coming at you. I want to show you what I've been working on. But first I have to give a shout out to Nurse Tara. 04. Tara has been my inspiration when it comes to dangle charms and all of that there. So, with that said, I'm going to show you the dangle charms that I've actually made during the course of the year. And I'm going to start with what I did for Halloween. And then work my way through. Okay? So let me move this here and let's get started. Because I do have to work today. Okay. So I went into the dollar store. And they had just the pencil caps. You know, that you put on the pencil. Well, I decided to turn those into purse charms. So what I did was I got... I had this big old stone, so I put that on there, and I wired it up. And then this here were tassels that I had gotten from Michaels. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. I got from Michaels, so I took that off, and then I took and I went and I did Halloween beads. So I attached it, and then I made this. And this is what I'm actually carrying on my purse right now. It's this one. And then I just went through the beads that I had to make sure that I had Halloween looking colors. And that's what that one looks like. I thought that came out so, so cute. So that's that one. Then I had this big stone right here. So I put a white bead there. Following those nurse tear, I made that. And then I took and I put this here skeleton head on there. And then I just attached it with a bead. And I did the wrapping from Nurse Tara. And then I just put this here behind it. And I thought that was enough. Maybe I'll go back later and add some more beads to it. But for now, I like the way that came out. And that's that one. This is the one that everybody <laughs> seems to like. And I don't know why. I took and I put some beads on it. And once again, these are just the pencil toppers that I got from Dollar Tree. And I put the black bead there, and then these were in my stash, and I went ahead and I attached that like that. It's simple, but it's cute. And these here, class that I got here, I actually got those from AliExpress. I ordered them online. And this is the last one. And this is the bat. And what I, he was too thick up here for me to put the nail through so I could put a hole in. So what I did, I just punched his um, wing. And I put some charms on there and some beads. And this is how this goes. And I think it came out really, really cute. You know, and that's what that one looks like. So those are the ones for Halloween, which I think were really, really good. So I just realized as I was getting ready to do this here, I didn't do one for Thanksgiving. So, you know, I got to work on that. So, since this is Breast Cancer Month as well, I went ahead and I made this one for breast cancer. And this is a multiple, you know, it has multiples on it. Like that. And I think this came out really, really cute. I just took a bunch of beads and I said I have to figure out how I can get them on here. And there is my breast cancer ribbon. And that there I also got from AliExpress. Then I had got I had some pink pearls. And I went and I just put those all on there. And this here, this was my hand at wire wrapping. I had this big one. I just wrapped the wire around it and did that there. And then this is the last one. Right here. And I went and I Put that on there and most of the charms I got from AliExpress while I was looking for stuff this here is something this one right here I've had for a while and I used it I'm trying to use up what I have and that's how that hangs and that's the class for that and that's the one for breast cancer awareness and this here I'll just take this here and just hang this here on my bag for the month but the other one is the one that I use for my car keys. Now, I'm going to show you the one that I carried all summer long. Because I, and this is what that one looks like. And I tried to make it with the bright summer colors and stuff. 
these are some charms I got from AliExpress. Now, this tassel right here came from Michaels. And what I did was I cut it. You know, because I love the clasps. And I think I got these in clearance for like 50 cents. So I bought every one that I saw. And I left the tassel part on there. And then I just added the beads to it. You know, I got french fries, you know fast food for the summertime because you're always on the go. I got a milkshake charm. This I really like. Got a purse. Yeah. So that's that one that I carried all summer long. And then my birthday's in May. So I made myself one for my birthday. And it is all green for the birthstone emerald. And most of them I'll try and I'll put a letter on there. A T meaning for me and this I just love I just love how nice this came out I have an angel you know but I love all the green charms together and not only can I carry it for May I can also carry it in March for um, St. Patrick's Day because I stuck that charm on there so that works out really really well so that's a two for one -er. then there's Valentine's Day so I made this one for Valentine's Day, and I like this as well. I took and used some tool, not tool, I'm sorry, some trim, and made a little fabric dangle. I took and I made this here, and I love this here class right here, but I'm going to tell you it was an accident. I don't know how I did it or how I even got there, but I like the way it looks. And once again, there's my tea. And I just love it. I just went in and played with what I had. And this is what I created. And there is that heart angel charm again with a big charm there. So that's the one for Valentine's Day. Then I'm going to show you my Christmas one. And this is my Christmas charm. This is a domino. I was in a swap a while ago. And I made this here to go into the swap. But then I made more. So I decided to keep this one. And then I decided that hey I'll add that to it. And this here class here. Is the Tim Holtz class. And what I did was. I just used charms. That I had. Most of these I purchased from AliExpress. This here is also something I learned from Nurse Tara. With the um, flowers. You put the glossy accent. I hung that on there. These are erasers. That you go and you put the hole in to make those there. And these are charms. This here is something I got from AliExpress. It's a charm. And I just did the thing and put that inside. This book I got from Hobby Lobby. Which I really like. And here's another eraser that I went ahead and I turned into a dangle. And then I have this hand that says love. I really like this here. So this is what I hang on my pocketbook for Christmas. That came out really, really nice. And then my last one. And this one, it has no theme, no rhyme, no reason. I just did it and it just hangs on my display. And here it is. It's bulky. <laughs> I took it out. I, I don't know what I did. I was just playing and just loaded stuff on it. Every once in a while, I'll load some more stuff on it. I have a firefly at the end. I have an angel. Then I have all of this here purple. Because I had a lot of purple beads that day. So I felt like playing with them. And this is what I created. And I think it's just gorgeous. This here was a bead. I don't even know where it came from. Then I had this here. And I take them. And I have a dress form. And let me see if I can bring the dress form in. And show it to you. That my girlfriend had gotten me. At um, a yard sale. So I just hang them on there. And I, as, as I use. As I need them I just take them off. You know. But yeah this is really really. Comes in handy. I just love how they look. Just dangling on there. Okay this is a short video. I just wanted to come and show y'all. What I have been doing. Once again a shout out to Nurse Tara. And I just want to say ladies. Continue to craft. And stay blessed. Thanks for watching. Bye.